Today I'm going to show you a simple fix that is probably derating the power by half on your Tesla mobile connector. Stick around. All right, so here's the simple fix that nine times out of 10 that I have seen is the actual problem with these things derating and only charging at 50% and saying on the screen that it's overheating, you're gonna probably see that message, but ultimately on the app, you're gonna notice, hey, why is it only charging at half the speed of normal? I, I don't understand. And you're gonna go to Facebook and everybody's gonna answer, get an electrician and check your wiring and all that kind of stuff. Most of the time I have found, and I don't know why this happens, but the adapter side, see how this is right here? See how it's not flush with the unit? This will not charge at full speed because of this. So this has to be totally and absolutely flush with this base unit. This is the adapter side of, of the charger, or it's not really a charger. Everybody knows the charger is actually in the car. The wall connector or mobile connector. So this has to be flush. So this is how I'm gonna show you how to actually fix this problem. Obviously you just pull it out and jam it back in, but there's a step before that to make it a little safer. This one is not plugged into anything. So let's go do that. All right, so if you had an electrician install this, you're probably terrified of it. Everybody tells you it's high power and you're gonna electrocute yourself and die. And um, if you do, I'm sorry, that's not our fault. <laughs> but uh, this is how you do this safely and fix this problem. You'll notice this is actually in a holster, right? And our, our thing was installed this way, so I put the holster this way. And even in a holster, uh, it still does come loose, and I don't understand why. A lot of people have this dangling and just hanging, and that I understand it would pull loose from that, and you're gonna have that problem probably more often than not. So first step, there are two grab things here. Just pull it out. All right, it's dead. It no longer has power. Pull it from your holster if you have one. Actually, you could see mine is already coming a little loose right here, and I did not set that up for this video. That's interesting. And I just did this about four months ago, uh, getting it back up there. So I'm not sure what the deal is on how these are becoming so loose when this is literally in a fixed position and not dangling and not hanging. A lot of people have their, their outlets like this um, and it's just sitting there dangling like that. I can understand how that would pull loose like that. So first step, unplug it. Second step, do like I showed you earlier, just unplug the adapter part of it and then plug it back in as hard as you can and that way you see it flush right there. You want to have it totally and utterly flush. And you put it back in the holster and then you line up the pins. Try to keep your fingers away from the metal parts and just put it back in. And then when this is green without a red T, you are good to go. All right, that's the fix for this particular issue. I have found that this has happened uh, every few months, so I actually go in and do it ahead of time before it derates my power by half, and I wake up in the morning and I uh, don't have a full car. So I uh, hope this works for you. As always, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, I would really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and hit the bell, and uh, tell your friends about us as well, and share our videos. We'll catch you on the next video here at Tesla Tips and Trips.